I was born and everything. So that was a good start. I've been an Everton fan since before I can remember. I don't ever feel like it was up for discussion. I just was an Evertonian. I come with my lad, our Connor. We'll get up, have some breakfast. I'm still like the little kid that I was sort of like 30 years ago when it comes to football. So we're probably here two and a half hours before kickoff just to be around the place. Going to the players parade and, you know, seeing all the players coming in, just sit and soak it all up. I've got a busy life, I've got two young girls, I've got, you know, a bit of a hectic job. So for me, when I come here, I'm not a mum, I'm not a worker, I'm not nothing. I am just an Evertonian, I'm just the same as everybody else that sat around me. I've been going to the game with my dad for 20 years. It's been something that, once they kept us together, but it's something that we've continued to always do. It's, it's been a constant. It's a family thing. It's passed down from generation to generation. I've got an amazing relationship with my stepdad. When him and my mum first met, I was saying, I don't need another dad, I've got a dad. The way we are now, and we're massively passionate about Everton, it really brought us together. The first uh, great memory was the game against Tottenham, we were vying for the, the league between us. That was about 1963. Alec Young scored the winner with a flick header. As the ball came in, he hovered and then flicked it in, and that was the winner, and then he won the league. A player that sticks out for me since I've been going to the game is Tim Cahill. Because we love our club so much, seeing someone like him, and just how passionate he was when he scored, and how much he seemed to rattle the opposition and get them all wound up, it was just like he was one of us on the pitch. Good at it for me, he's just brilliant. It's just quite clear his heart's here, isn't it? The first goal he scored against Liverpool, Joe Rowe's first game. In the games that you wanted somebody to stand up, he always did. The game against Bayern Munich was special. One nil down, half time, but you knew we were going to win. At that side, it was that good. Every time we scored a goal, it ended up like 100 yards further away. And as you're going round, you're meeting somebody you know, hello, there's uh, somebody from work, somebody from the local. Three times he scored, and it ended up in three different places. It's the memories I like of the modern cathedrals. It's a holy place. Where I sit right at the front, you see the little plaques on the curb around the pitch where, you know, families are remembering fathers and grandfathers that have been coming here for years. I know that when I've passed on, Everton will still be here, I might not be, but he'll have all the memories and all the experience that we shared together here. You can't put a price on that.